the crafts Nibiru. There were thousands of Nibiru, different sized Nibiru. The word Nibiru comes from the word Navara, which merely means to elevate, to go upwards, and descend downwards. You follow? This one craft that you're talking about, they crashed into this planet, Ta, Kawaka, or, Te, or Tiamat, called Nibiru, which is one cube shaped craft that went in motion to create the oil. The bomb tank was a semi the male and female, by the way, in nature. He crashed here. He all are based on that. The commanding officer of that craft was Murda. You understand? But the intellect, the high priest, or the Sam, or the mastermind, the most high, was called Anu. Anu had two sons who were in conflict with each other. And he knew that this was a very dangerous expedition, so he said, I'm taking the son of the disagreeable one who had become agreeable and make him the commander so he can make proper decisions. Enlil would have been too passive and Inky would have been too aggressive. So he took the reptilian seat because Inky's wife who gave birth to Murdoch and them were reptilians and sent him to a planet where reptilians ruled because Genesis tells you that this planet was covered under water and it was dark so he could not send a mammal, he would have drowned. So when the blast came in and the vehicle stopped outside of the solar system and sent in giants that came in here, they hovered. Then they brought in what they, they call Crystal City. But they brought them in and they were like small cities and they lived there while they started the experiment. And then they went on to Mars and, and the moon. This is now, now years ago when I said that people see space, now that they found life on Mars, now they found this life on stations on the dark side of the moon. It ain't funny no more. There's a great possibility that what I'm saying might be true than what the hell they're saying. They gotta make me crazy because none of this is in the Bible. And the only way they can keep me and you passive is by keeping us believing that some God called Jesus is gonna come hit us one day. And this keeps me and you from turning around and kicking him for all the stuff he didn't to us. So you gotta keep me and you in that state of mind where we always go, okay, Lord Jesus. He's gonna come, he's gonna come. Every Christmas is coming, he ain't got here yet. <laughs> from 2000, yeah. and that's the very, now he's getting to the point where you're starting to say, we done had 2,000 um, Easter's and I ain't seen no Jesus yet. You better come up with some Jesus real quick so he starts, he'll be fabricating Jesus any day now. 